Uh, this is part 15 and uh, it covers switch statements. Um, I think the best approach is to uh, give an example of a switch statement and uh, that's what I've done here. Um, uh, what happens is um, uh, this uh, is an integer passed into this uh, method, a uh, month number, and um, based on that month number it uh, uh, jumps to one of these things down here which are um, uh, switch labels they're called and uh, what it jumps to is based on this month number and then of course it just prints out a relevant uh, line there and that break there and there it takes it um, out of the um, switch statements and um, that's basically what a switch statement does and if it's uh, uh, none of these alternatives down here then the default option is chosen which is there and that basically is a switch statement so what you've got here is um, in a more general case you've got an expression in here and uh, this is uh, evaluated and uh, based on the value of that expression you choose one of these special types of labels they're called switch labels uh, to jump to and that's where, where you continue and uh, everything between there and there is basically a block which contains a lot of statements, some of which are labelled with switch labels. Now, uh, I think I'll go into some detail about exactly what, what it is. Well, this is the uh, syntax of a, a switch statement, and um, um, what you've got is uh, an expression here in general, rather than a variable. And um, it's basically just um, a big block here of statements, um, uh, some of which have got labels, uh, possibly more than one label. And um, the labels fall into uh, two categories. Um, they've either got um, a constant expression or uh, something called an enum constant name, and I'll describe what that is uh, a bit later. And um, uh, default is also a possibility, and that can go with either category. Now, um, uh, fairly obviously, um, uh, if you've got um, a statement up here at the beginning, um, it'll have to have a label, otherwise uh, there's no way of getting to it. And um, that sort of thing is checked, of course, by the compiler. Now, of course, um, also the whole block itself could be empty, uh, or it could, just, it could consist of just switch labels. Um, and in both cases, of course, it's not going to do very much. But um, it's a legal syntax. Now, um, if you've got a default in here, um, you can only have one. Obviously, otherwise, um, it's not going to know where to jump when um, um, when it doesn't match any of the labels. So, you obviously, you can't have more than one. And um, default, by the way, is a reserved word, so you can't use that default uh, label outside of a switch statement. Now, of course. Um, uh, this could be a, a huge block here, this huge block of statements, which um, a load of them and that in it could be you have a switch statement in, in one of these. One of these statements could be a switch statement, in which case it could have its own default. But of course that's not a contradiction, because it's um, the default in that case would be at a lower syntactic level than any which appear up here. So that's not a problem. Well, a couple more things to say about um, switch statements. Um, the uh, expression is going to be of type uh, bytes, short, char, or int, or its uh, wrapped class, or um, an enum type. And I'll go into enum types in a minute. Um, now, um, if the expression is a, of this enum type, um, you, you've got to use enum constant name switch labels. Um, otherwise, uh, you've got to use constant expression switch labels. Um, as I've already said, you're only allowed to have one default switch label um, if you're going to use it at all. You don't have to. Um, also, um, uh, you can't have two switch labels the same. Um, otherwise, uh, you wouldn't know where to jump to. And um, the the constant in the uh, label um, has got to be assignable to the type. Uh, that's the type of the expression. And um, it has to be known at compile time. So you can't do any sort of computation or anything there. Yeah, it's got to be known 
um, uh, constant. And um, uh, now the um, switch label itself, it, it can't be null either. You can't use that, even though uh, even though null is a constant, um, effectively a constant, and it is assignable to something um, of type byte, for instance. Um, you still can't use that as a label. And uh, part of the reason for that is is that um, it doesn't make sense because um, uh, if the expression itself is um, is null. So if you if you've got, if you've got one of these types, one of these wrap types, and it turns out to be null, then um, then you get a runtime error um, because it's, it's not valid. It has to be actually able to turn that into a numeric type. So null's not allowed in that case, and, and for that reason, you can't have null as a label anywhere. Um, so I think that's um, that's about it. I think. Uh, so now we come to uh, the enum example. So the first question, of course, is uh, what is an enum? And uh, basically, uh, to explain that, I'd uh, have to go into some really clever sort of generic tricks with generic types which occur to generate these enum type things. But um, it's probably easier if I just show you a simple example. So there's a nice simple example. Um, there's an enum um, uh, day in this case, and uh, it to consist of uh, one of these, only straightforwardly, and uh, you can use it um, labels like this: Saturday and Sunday. Uh, anything else prints out something different, and um, and uh, you refer to any of these items in that enum with a dot followed by the value in there. In each case, so that will print out. Um, uh, it's out um, well work play work play basically so that's uh, what that evaluates to so it looks quite simple but um, uh, these enum things can have an awful lot of stuff added on them code as well and stuff put in here so although it looks fairly simple at this level it is it can be a bit more complex than that but um, without wishing to explain the hologenerics yet I think it's best to stick with this simple example which basically is, is enough to demonstrate how, how exactly you use enums in this sort of case here. Even if I've not gone into great detail about what exactly they are. But this is a definitely valid enum, it's just not a very complicated one. And most of them are, are written like this. Uh, this is the uh, recommended layout, um, recommended by Sun that is. And um, uh, there's a couple of things to point out. Um, first of all, because uh, statements down here are almost always followed by a break at the end to take you right out of the switch. Um, if for some reason uh, you don't require that, um, it's uh, recommended that um, where the break would have been you put a comment in to indicate that um, it falls straight through onto the next um, set of statements rather than come straight out. Um, and next it's recommended that you always put a, a default in. Um, and um, if possible, I would say um, put that default at the end, but of course that's not always possible. Also, um, uh, because if you notice there's a, a break here which is redundant, uh, but it's recommended that you always put that in because um, if at some later time you come along and add some more um, switch labels after it um, to uh, carry out some other processing, um, then of course you don't necessarily want it falling straight onto that. So um, if you include that break there by default, it will um, it will prevent that sort of thing from happening. Uh, apart from that, um, that's a fairly good layout and pretty standard.